Hi, good evening. My name is Susan Sperber, and I'm the executive director of the Colonial Theater. And this is Hal Palmer, who is the board of trustees president of the Colonial Theater. 
And we, <laughs> and we are delighted to welcome you here tonight to the last event that we're going to have in this theater before we close it down. So it's an important night for all of us, and it's a big night for us, and we're, um, we're actually a little emotional about it. We've all, all of us have been here for a number of parties over time, and, and this is the last one. When we close the doors tonight, that's it. The public doesn't get to see this place anymore. This turns into a construction zone. So um, this is it for all of us, and we're going to have a good time. I'd um, like to welcome some special guests. We have with us, and, and who you will hear from in just a few minutes, Senator Andrea Nusiforo is here tonight. The man <laughs> responsible for something in the order of about $7 million for this project, so we thank him. And Smitty Picantelli, also here. There he is. And we have some city councilors here. Is, is Trisha Farley Bouvier still here with her kids? Okay, Trisha's here. And J Lo, Jonathan Lothrop is here. <laughs> we love J-Lo. Anthony Mafuccio is here. And we also have some other special friends who are here um, that we want you to say hello to tonight. Where's Pam? Pam came in late. And Matt Kerwick also came in late, so they get a late announcement. Glad that you're here. Anybody else I'm missing? No? Okay. Uh, two years ago, we put up a production of Damn Yankees at Wakona Park, and it was a $10 ticket for anyone who wanted to come, and that was because it was generously sponsored by Jenny and Adam Hirsch, who are here tonight. <laughs> Bill Wilson is here from the Berkshire Visitors Bureau. <laughs> Peter Lafayette is here from Berkshire Housing. He's a special friend. We, we'd like to, we'd like to um, thank Scott and Tony Mazio from Mazio's Restaurant who are doing the catering here tonight. And you should know they're charging us 10 bucks a person tonight. That's it for the booze and the food. <laughs> Studio Two and Kevin Sprague here tonight. And if you've seen our t-shirts up in the lobby, um, they were designed by Danny O for free. And he is here tonight. Last but not least is Bev Dubisky from Bellissimo Dolce. She's here tonight. And there is a room full of special people here tonight. If you were in this room tonight, it is because you have helped bring us to the point that we are um, at tonight, that we're able to close down this theater and begin our project. There is a saying that goes, many hands make, make light work. So if you look at one another and shake each other's hands, it's because you've all done this work and we're all here together and now we can make it happen. So thank you so much. And <laughs> now it is my privilege. <laughs> And pleasure and honor to introduce the president of our board, Howell Palmer. Thanks, Susan. Uh, four years ago, we had nothing. We had no building. We had no money. We really didn't know where this was going. We didn't know whether this building could be uh, fixed up or not. Four years later, we have acquired this building, acquired the building to the north, and we've got cash and pledges of almost $11 million towards this project. And it's, <laughs> and it's because, uh oh. Thank the rest of the board. What? Thank the rest of the board. And the board, yeah. Oh, I didn't, no, I didn't do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> did a, a little bit of it, but not all of it. Uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been because of the people that are here in this room. Uh, tremendous effort by everybody. This is an energized city. It feels great to be part of this project. Uh, we have a great administration. Uh, city Council has been very supportive. And this, is, this city is changing before our eyes, and it feels really great on, for all of us to be part of this. So we're glad to be here. I, I kind of consider this to, to be the before party. So this is before, and in a year and a half, we're going to have an after party. So look around, memorize what it looks like, because you're never going to see this place again looking the way it looks. Um, there are some other people here who are not volunteers that have been an unbelievable part of this project and continue to work tirelessly to get this done, and that's the staff of the theater. I'd like to introduce, for those of you who don't know, Mackenzie Joseph, who's trying to hide over here. 
and three others who are in fact hiding. Kelly Vickery. No, oh, no, 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 come out in the light. Nice pants. <laughs> Molly Mirando. And, and of course, Susan Sperber. You can come out of the shadows. Oh, you guys are great. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. That wasn't supposed to happen. It's not in the script. Thank you. I'd like to uh, change the subject for a moment, but it does have to do with volunteerism. Uh, while this has been a glorious year for us and a, and a tremendous step forward in this project, uh, it's been a sad year for us as well. Uh, we've had two board members who died uh, this year and a uh, very, very difficult time for us, for their families, and for the community. And that's Glenn Russo and Mary Jane Hickey. Uh, they've been a part of this project from the beginning. Uh, it was very difficult to go through for us and their families. And there's, uh, it's hard to find ways to honor people with such, that are so dedicated uh, and leave the earth so soon. Uh, we've decided that one small thing we can do is to name our volunteerism award after them. I'd like, uh, I know, Maureen Hickey, Maureen Russo to come up and be with us for a moment. This is a very brave lady. Uh, we have named the Volunteerism Award, the Hickey Russo Award for Outstanding Volunteerism. And we're going to present tonight to three people, uh, one couple and one individual, our first award. Uh, and I'd like them to come forward if they will. Kathy and Mark Clatterbaugh. Kathy, Kathy and, and Mark first came to a special event that the Colette we had at Wheatley. They saw the Colonial and saw it to be a, the great project that we all believe it is. Kathy got involved offer, offering services, coordinating our summer volunteers. Mark's been around constantly working with the, with the volunteers, giving tours, ushering, hosting events, and they've basically been here for anything we've wanted them to do. Congratulations and thank you for what you've done. <laughs> the other is to, to a person that Susan has introduced me to three times tonight because she doesn't think I know who he is. <laughs> Bill Munn, would you come forward? Now, he must be hiding somewhere. Here he comes. Bill is basically our, among other things, resident historian. He's spent an unbelievable amount of time uh, working with us on the theater. He's done a tremendous amount of research, uh, and he knows as much about this, as, this place and its history as anyone. A lot of what we know and the staff knows and the architects know about this facility is because of him. Uh, he's done, he's got a tremendous amount of knowledge, he's given tours, he's, he's done everything. He's ushered, he's cleaned, he's dressed up as Santa Claus, he's done, and this guy, this guy is, oh, sorry, it was pretend. Santa Claus lives on the North Pole, this is, this is only Pittsfield. <laughs> uh, it, it's just been an incredible uh, uh, asset and resource for us, and we really thank you for everything you've done, and we're counting on you to keep doing it, so congratulations. <laughs> Okay, let me see. I believe there are some people here who have helped us raise big, big, big money. And I'd like uh, Andrea and Smitty to come forward and, and say a few words. Thank you. Howell, thank you very much. Welcome. So nice to see all of you here. I'll be very brief. We come from different cities or towns 
We come from different places. I look around this room and I see people that were born and raised here, and I see people that are newcomers. There is one thing that unites all of us. We have a stubborn belief in downtown Pittsfield. We believe. And it wasn't always easy to believe, but it's getting easier and more people are believing. That's what this project is all about. It's obviously about a beautiful theater and providing a resource and a venue for us and for our children and our grandchildren, but it's also about actually looking at the thing that has our belief in it. That's what this is. Now, there's one person who hasn't been uh, recognized yet. It's Jimmy Roberto, the mayor, right here. Is he next? Okay, I don't want to take anybody's thunder here. Some say that politics can be a tough business. He's shown a lot of guts, and the counselors that stood with him showed a lot of guts in supporting this project. That was a hard thing to do. Thank you very much for doing that. You see... His job, and the job of the counselor is a little bit different from mine. People expect me to go down to Boston and grab money and run back home. And that's what I've tried to do on this project. And I've had Smitty support and support from other people. His job is much harder. And he's done it well, and he's shown a lot of guts and a lot of courage in doing it. So I'd like to thank you personally, Jim, and thank you everybody on the council. So we're here now. We can take a look at this place now, and I look forward to the day when we're back here and this project is completed. Thanks very much. Schmitty. I won't be brief. <laughs> he never has. <laughs> <laughs> um, the election's a little ways off, so you don't... I still got five weeks, so I'm trying to get warmed up. Okay, practice. Jonathan Lothar, where's Jonathan? I, I will never look at J-Lo the same. <laughs> But thanks to the good folks at the Colonial Theater and the damn Yankees, I have Lola that I can always remember. <laughs> what a great day for the Colonial. It's a great day for the city of Pittsfield, and the Senator was right on the money with the mayor and his, his work and his commitment to this downtown and to this particular project. But it's also a great day for Berkshire County. I represent part of Pittsfield and all of South Berkshire County and even three towns in Hamden County. This district is getting very, very large. This is a key piece of the revitalization, not only of the city of Pittsfield, but all of Berkshire County, and it's gonna happen right here in Pittsfield, and I'm proud to play a small part of it. One of the very first things, I was appointed to state administration by the speaker, and one of the very first hearings I had, in walks the door was Susan Sperber. I'm saying, oh my God, the pressure's on now. <laughs> and we're trying to extend for a year some monies that Senator Nusaforo got a couple years ago because you weren't quite ready for it. I was so honored to speak up at my very first hearing on behalf of the Colonial Theater, and I've been speaking up on their behalf ever since. I think this is such an integral part. It's the key part. We can talk about stadiums. We can talk about theaters. I think this is the key part. This is going to help turn Pittsfield into the cultural mecca that I think a lot of us in South Berkshire have been experiencing for many, many years. So I'm happy to play a small role. I have to defer to my colleague in the Senate. This has been a baby of his for several years. Um, I'm happy to be along for the ride, and this year, they always say that, you know, legislation is like making sausage. You don't want to know what goes into it. But the, the last million dollars that we were able to get this year, I have to tell you, and I, if the press is here, the hell with them. This all came about, this last million dollars, on the golf course. Peter Larkin, John Rogers, and myself were playing golf in Taunton, Massachusetts. And we got talking about Berkshire County. I was John Rogers trying to get to know me a little bit better. And we're talking about my district and things that I thought were important to us. And the Mahewee Theater came up and the Colonial Theater came up. And by the end of that day, we had a million dollars approved by the chair of the Ways and Means, which is almost a slam dunk at that point for the Colonial Theater in Pittsfield. My golf game was horrible that day, but I tell you, it was a hell of a lot more rewarding to be here tonight with a million dollars. So I'm happy to play a small part, continued success. I can't wait to be back here for the ribbon cutting. And uh, this is, we're going to sign the check. I, I have to tell you one last thing. When I first got elected, just hard to believe, almost two years ago, we were facing about a $3 billion budget deficit, which made the year extension of Senator Nusaforo's money a little bit more difficult because we needed the money. But the state made a commitment to Pittsfield and the Colonial Theater to extend it for another year, and I'm glad we did that. But I went around, I was trying to be very upfront and honest with all the folks that I, I, I talked to, 
that I said, the days of the photo op with your state rep holding a big check are over. <laughs> I am so glad that happy days are here again, and we're going to be signing this check, and uh, we'll keep this thing going. Thank you very much. How's that? Not... What, one other uh, gentleman that could not be here, that, that was a huge part. Oh, sorry, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> It's election year. All right. <laughs> <laughs> one, one other uh, person that couldn't be here that was a huge part of this is Peter Larkin. So uh, if you see him, pat him on the back and thank him. He was a I, big, big part. If of I can just say, uh, Peter did call me before. Yeah, he um, was unable to be here. His wife, as you, as you know, is due like any second now. She wasn't feeling well today. She's not in labor. For the record, she's not in labor, but she's not feeling well. Peter felt with all the uh, upheaval the last couple of days with the leadership changes. He felt he should be home with his wife instead, and I don't blame him That's at all. That's a good idea. Family he was, first. He was a key part of this and will continue to be. Absolutely. Please sign. Please sign. Are there any bankers here? We're going to take this to the bank. <laughs> yes, I know there's a few here. Can we slip this in the ATM machine? Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. One million clams. All right. Quick, quick, quick. Got all these people here. All right. Okay. All right. That's another man. I always save the best for last. Susan said I saved the best for last, but I don't. This is. Hopefully there's another check. That would be great. <laughs> our, our last speaker and the person standing between you and more wine and dancing is a guy that is a huge part of the transformation of the city. Uh, he's the CEO. He's the chief marketing officer. He's the mayor, Jimmy Roberto. I can't believe it. You know, tonight's bittersweet. I mean, it truly is for me bittersweet. I, I think some of you have heard me talk about this place before, and I, I think a lot of you have heard me talk about these angels. These were the angels that my mother used to talk to me about as a boy. And I can't wait 18 months from now to bring my mother here for opening night. This is what it's all about, the colonial theater is about a shared history and it's about a better Pittsfield. It's about the history we had, the immigrant families that made it great, and it's about the future we can see and the immigrant families that we have to welcome to make it even better. I just am so pleased and proud to be a part of this process. I can't, uh, I, words can't express it, but we wouldn't be here we wouldn't be here now if it weren't for a team. And every team has a leader. And I think that Howell Palmer, who followed Joyce Bernstein, who followed Teddy Lauren, is the right man for the right time. And <laughs> and under his direction, with, with the help of uh, Susan Sperber, they made it easy. They made it easy and they made it possible for our city to show its support to this theater. And uh, the rest of this staff is magnificent. Now, this is going to sound like the old fan club tonight, but I can't crack jokes like Smitty. But I, ca I can say this. We have in uh, Berkshire County, the finest legislative delegation you can imagine. Andy Nusiforo fought for the first dollars, and the second batch of dollars, and the third batch of dollars. <laughs> and Smitty and Peter Larkin were right there behind him for the first and the second and the third, and I guess from to what I heard tonight, they were ahead for the fourth. But listen, I don't care who's counting just as long as it keeps coming. And, and we know it's an election season, so don't re forget those people who have been so good to us 
when it comes to election day. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to close because Howell put the pressure on by talking about the distance between you and a nice drink is me. So with that, I just want to say thank you. Oh my gosh. Do we really have to do it? Can we? Oh, <laughs> well, we only can if the counselors will come up. Tony, Pam, Trish, Jonathan. Please. Yeah, sure, you dusted her off now that you got your million. You know, when, when we started this administration, I said this is going to be the most productive city council in the history of Pittsfield. And I think that what you've seen over the first nine months is evidence that those weren't idle words. This project from the city, the commitment from the city, never could have occurred without the people behind me and some others. Because... <laughs> as the political energy was being a, a, a directed toward some of us. I want you to know that I found comfort and support in talking to the people that are here tonight. So they got to sign this check just like me. Thank you very, very much. Spoken like a true insurance executive. Here we go. <laughs> Come on in here, Anthony. Okay. Susan. I'm here. Oh. All right. Here we go. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Have a great time. Party on. <laughs> This is a great night. It's a great night for the Colonial Theater and it's a great night for everybody that's involved. Um, our state, our, our legislative delegation was here tonight and they deserve an incredible amount of credit for getting this project started and moving forward. And I'm just glad that the city of Pittsfield is able to join along and help make certain that this project gets done. Hey, this is a great night for Pittsfield, a great night for the Colonial Theater. We've been working on this for four years, and uh, this is a culmination of a huge amount of work. We've got $11 million raised so far towards the uh, $16, $17 million we need for this project. Today's the last day we're going to have an open, uh, open house, and we are so excited about getting to this point in the project. Uh, we're going to have... Uh, construction starting up very, very soon, and we'll open up the theater in about a year and a half, and it's going to be glorious. A great day for the city, and we're very excited to be here. Well, hello, Pittsfield, and hello, Ward 5. Probably the most uh, famous thing in Ward 5 is the Colonial Theater. As your representative, I'm a strong supporter of the Colonial, and I'm so excited to see this project come to fruition and people being excited again about downtown Pittsfield. I look forward to being here in two years when the ribbon is cut and when the first thousand people come in here to watch the first of many productions. So thank you, Pittsfield, for your support, not only of the Colonial, but for myself doing this job. I really appreciate all of your assistance. Thank you. This is a great big night for the Colonial Theater and a big night for Pittsfield. We're bringing this business to a close for a little while and in 18 months we're going to open up this theater into its full wonderful glory. 
So I want to thank everybody here for coming, and we're having a great time tonight. Hi, I'm Peter Lafayette, President of Berkshire Housing Development Corporation. We've been involved for about eight or nine years in downtown redevelopment to help revitalize downtown Pittsfield. And this is a great night. Um, the last night the Colonial will be open before the renovations begin, and we welcome the real the refurbished Colonial to the downtown scene. So I'm really delighted to be here. Uh, this is a great day in Pittsfield, a long time coming, and congratulate Susan Sperber and the board for their perseverance and pulling all of this together and thank all the politicians who brought all the money and all the private people who've donated money to make it happen. So congratulations, Colonial.
Right now, so girls don't touch me, please don't rush me. Woo, it's about to get ugly. Got your man jealous now, you know you wanna bust me. I live in the city where fashion is society, and I shop at the garden because they have a vast variety. The problem's coming up, let's enter the room with points. So we gotta stroll down to groups of choice and cop and tux. Come on, who's stopping us? They got great discounts, and we got the bug. Who's up, Deidre's? You know they need ya to make them look hot like they got a fever. Who am I forgetting before I bail? Reynolds got the best team. Discount the sales. When I do it like this, all my people are forgetting. I'm looking good right now. I'm really.